Hello world, what is going on guys? Shotgun here and back with another video and in this video we will be installing OpenVPN and running it. So I don't really know how you stumble upon this video. Maybe you wanted to attempt a CTF challenge like capture the flag or hack the box and they give you with a OpenVPN file and you don't know how to run it. Or maybe you do know how to run it but it's just not working. Then in this video I'm going to show you guys how to do it step by step. So just before I start, I just quickly want to say if you're into network security, um, you know, anything Linux re related, please do consider subscribing and I'll try to put a good content out for you guys. Right, so now that's sorted out of the way, let's get started. So start up your terminal. So just a heads up, you need to have a homebrew installed on your computer uh, in order to install OpenVPN. You don't necessarily have to, but the way I'm teaching you guys how to do it, you have to have a homebrew. Now. If you don't already have a homebrew installed on your computer, the link will be down there in the WD or a description section where it says click here to install homebrew. Now go follow that video. Once you've installed the homebrew, then you can come back to this video. I'll leave a timer so you can navigate to a specific part you want to. So yeah, um, so you need to have a homebrew installed. After that, just follow me on. Okay, so we've got a terminal. The first thing we need to know is if we have any OpenVPN installed on our computer. So in order to do that, you can simply do which OpenVPN, and it says OpenVPN not found. Perfect. Okay. So uh, that means it might not be installed. In order to install it, what you have to do is simply type brew install OpenVPN. Now, this will install an OpenVPN to your computer. So as always, you'll update in Homebrew. If you're getting any sort of error, there's another video that says, um, you know, shallow cast clone error thing. Uh, you can follow that if you saw that warning. If not, yeah, there you go. So we have successfully installed OpenVPN. Now, if I try to run OpenVPN, it says come here not found. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. We're pretty sure we've installed it correctly. The only problem is it is not accessible by terminal, meaning it's not on the profile. Uh, you could simply run sudo and then try to run it, but yeah, um, we'll just add it to our profile for our convenience. So in order to add it to our profile so that the terminal can access that file, what you have to do is find that file. Now, how do we find that file? Um, since we've installed it using Homebrew, we can simply do brew info open vpn now as you can see it's giving me all the details of open vpn but what what's important to us is this line right here now it says it is installed on user local seller open vpn 2.5.0 now now all you have to do is highlight this thing copy all the way up to 2.5.0 and click on your desktop, click and go on the top, click and go to folder, and just paste it over here. Oh, sorry, my bad. Go, and it opens the folder whereabouts of its installation. Now, this is the location where it has been installed. Now, that's easy with the homebrew, but it gets a little bit tricky if it wasn't installed through homebrew. Let's say you installed, you already had it open a VPN installed, and you don't know whereabouts it is. In order to do that, you just need to manually search it. sudo, because you need to go through system folders as well, so you need a root privileges. Now, sudo space find space this minus type f oh, name, and we give the name, which is OpenVPN. Now, provide your system password and right off the bat is giving me whereabouts it's located there you go use a local seller openvpn 2.5.0 sbin openvpn even more detailed now it's saying on the sbin and it's openvpn file that's executable now how do we add it to our profile now let's clear everything up now in order to add it to your profile you have to edit your the bash rc file or the bass profile so it depends on what terminal you have now for me it's going to be 
.zshrc file, but for you guys it might be something else. So for me it's pretty much going to be straightforward, it's going to be sudo nano .zshrc. Now if you can't really find this file, now when I do that I get heaps of lines. Now if you can't find this file, what you have to do is edit your bash on the script profile file. Or if you can't find the bash profile, you have to edit your bash rc file. I don't know what's in there, but yeah. Now for me it was dot jet here's the jrc file, so I'm just gonna do sudo nano um, dot jet shrc all the way down here. We'll go all the way to the end. We don't want to edit anything in here, we don't want to touch anything, we just want to add a new line and we will add a little bit of comment. We'll just say this is for for open VPN. Right, there we go. Now I will just do export and we're gonna do capital path equals there's there's no space in between. Um, don't worry about all this, I'll just leave them down in the in the description section below so you can just you know refer to the code but if you want to manually type you can avoid the error because um, sometimes uh, YouTube doesn't allow you to paste the comments and turns your characters into a really weird symbol so it doesn't work sometimes but yeah but if you want to type along with me it's just the export path equal to and we'll just now we'll just click on this folder we'll just go back and click on the Aspin folder, move this terminal a little bit down here, and we'll just drag and drop this. There you go. Now remove any white spaces in there. Now this is what it looks like. If you want to manually type it, that's okay as well. But yeah, there you go. So it's export path equals user local seller open VPN 2.5.0 slash Aspin. Now we've added this folder to our path. Now we need to end this. In order to do that, we'll just do this sign, dollar sign, path, just like all of these. Now I'll just write it out by doing Control O, Enter, Control X. I'm out of that. Clear. I'm just going to exit this thing, start it again. And when I type OPE and hit the tab button on my keyboard, there you go, Open VPN. So you can see all the options. Now we know that our Open VPN is up and running. We can access it from anywhere. Um, now let's run the open VPN file that we have. So this file right here is an open VPN file from hack the box. Now we'll just try to run it. We'll just do open VPN space simply just drag and drop this thing. Um, easy as that and hit enter. Now if you noticed it says exiting due to fatal error. That means it tried to run the file, um, it failed a couple of times and just gave up and just goes, yeah, I can't really run that file. Now, in order to fix those error, you don't have to do anything at all. All you have to do is add the magic word. That's right. So you just add sudo openvpn, oh, sorry, openvpn, but just do it manually this time. Why drag and drop, you know, um, to that one, desktop, ooh, desktop, um, and we'll just get test file that open VPN and we'll provide them with that credential. There you go. Now it's running. Sequence complete. Now if I check my IF config to a tunnel IP, there you go, 10.10.14.3. Happy days. And that's pretty much how you run an open VPN file and install OpenVPN files. So if you guys have any problem, comment them down in the comment section below. Um, if you guys need any help, just let me know. If you guys have any video ideas, just let me know as well. And again, if this video helped you guys in any way, please like the video, subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and happy pen testing. We'll talk to you guys later.